beautiful people this is Tanisha welcome back to my channel your all time sis if you want to see more fun self love and styling videos do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon but before moving ahead i would like to recommend you a video that i made last week it was about influencers and their photographs so apparently you should check this after this video because when you watch that video you might not return to this yeah. portray my creativity your reason could be anything so make sure you watch this video till the end we are going to create some bomb ass pictures and we will make your ex regret yes you heard it right start with a the theme or an aesthetic in your mind before starting any photo shoot you should always have a blueprint or the imagination of how you want your picture to turn out you can always go very random and very natural with it but i like to keep a similar aesthetic all the time for taking some inspiration you can check out p interest is filled with crazy beautiful pictures apart from that you can also take inspiration from some really nice famous instagram accounts Step 2 is makeup. Makeup can literally turn the whole picture upside down. Makeup plays a very very important role. It can literally change the whole structure of your face, make you look droopy or make you look very snatched. So, according to your theme and the aesthetic that you set, you can go for looks from minimal to very extra to anything you like at all. And also, you need to take care of your hairstyle because that also plays a very major role. you can take care of which angles look good or which side of your face is better so accordingly you can do your hair and then there are a lot of other things that are required for example the perfect equipment the lighting the background but i'm going to cover all of these things in a separate video in the future this video is completely dedicated to posing so just let's hit that now i'm here on my terrace guys this is some area where yeah you have a dish tv and all that but i'm going to use this area we don't want to stand completely under the sun we'll take a little bit shade and then we don't want to stand completely straight like a pole we'll cross our feet and then turn the body sideways now when the body is sideways we want to turn our face and look over the shoulder and then pose you can hide your tummy with your hands or you can completely put the hand inside the pocket so in this way you can also make a pose at the same time also hide a little bit tummy around there and you can turn around and then turn your hairs and flick it just like this you can also bend completely towards one side this looks very very high fashion also with the hair falling to one side looks very very cool you can also bend your body just like this it accentuates the butt area and also creates a really good figure you can turn around completely and then make these hair flicks and take shutter shots over here it is a really cool way to do it you can also take a little bit support of the wall or a chair in front of you and then make it a pose this accentuates your bottoms or your butt area very very well we will make use of the clothes just like this use your jeans or your top we don't want to stand too wide all the time so always make sure to cross your feet you can also make use of your hands to create different different angles this creates so much of variety for your posing now a very very patent way to make good poses is to play with your hair so you can use your hand to play with your hair make flicks run your hand through your hair and do such stuff just like that perfect sun silk girl if you feel your hands are too idle you can keep it over your shoulder where you can also put your attention towards the top as well as towards your hand or your nails now we will see some side angle poses you can choose whichever profile you feel is best if you feel like you can have a good right side profile you can keep it on the right or else you can keep it on the left 
now i'm going to make use of this wall over here i will place my hips and my shoulder over it which creates a little bit gap around the back side with this back side gap we get a very flaunting figure so you can make use of that or you can completely place your shoulder over the wall and then try to make poses along with it it looks so fancy and high fashion keep in mind you have your body in a arched posture and not very slouching or very stiff just like this if you want to show good curves these poses are very very effective now what we can do is we can take shutter clicks with the camera where you can take 10 12 clicks just at once so we will just randomly walk and we will take shutter shots and then we will choose the one that looks the best down angle poses are very very effective if you want to elongate your body or give an illusion of you being taller here i like to do something like where i'm extending my arms upwards which make me looks even more taller and you can play just like this with your hair or with your poses when you are doing a down angle shot make sure you're not facing too much upwards your face a little bit downwards otherwise your face won't be visible in the camera For the close-up shots, you can make your random poses just like this. One of the poses that I like is to extend your arm on one side and then try to look over the shoulder. It looks very very cute and also very good for close-up shots. The next thing that I like to do when I'm having a huge exposure of sunlight is to use your hand which creates this shadow on the face which looks like a professional photography to be honest. Along with that, it saves you from the very very high exposure from the sun. Now all you can do is just smile, make some cute faces, do some pouts and that's all for the close-ups. I'm just going to use this white background that I have here in my home so since it's quarantine we're just going to make it at home and we are going to use this space so guys I'm going to make use of this area of sunlight that is coming here the sunlight makes such a huge difference like you can see the way the lip gloss is popping is just something different and it makes everything look so sun kissed so I'm just going to take sitting poses over here uh, for the whole quarantine I have been using this white wall. Uh, if I don't have the sunlight, I use my ring light. But as of now, this is the best way to shoot. So we'll be doing it over here. Just see the difference. If I'm not in the sunlight, this is the case and this is when I'm in the sunlight. It's just hell of a difference. Okay, so the first thing guys, we don't want to be slouching like this and look boring. We have to straighten the back like this. And the next thing, we don't want to keep our chin like this. Otherwise, we will have double chin and we have to keep it up and straight so that it makes the neck look longer. Now you can take some support from the back and then you don't necessarily have to face the camera. You can look towards different directions and then pose accordingly. Now let's explore some half laying down poses. You have to completely and nicely balance your body on your hand and we have to try not to look very slouchy because since we are laying down we might tend to bend downwards so we need to take care of that. Now we can again play with some hair. You are seeing how I am facing completely not towards the sunlight. So the sunlight photographs are not about standing directly under the sun. We need some slanting rays of the sun. Now let's explore some poses with the help of prop. I am using this red artificial roses. When you are using prop, you need to keep it just in touch with your skin or on, over your body. You don't necessarily have to look at them just like this. To be honest, this looks more like an accessory to me than a prop. So use it very beautifully. Now we will do another lay down pose but this time we are going to keep our body complete in a straight line in front of the camera. This look is very very flaunting. 
इट कैन गिव यू दैट कम्प्लीट इंस्टा बैडी बूटी पिक्चर्स यू नीड टू किप द camera on a down angle so your face is seen but at a very far place and the hips are very much accentuated guys and just for a reminder that these pictures on your instagram account don't define you or your worth apparently i take like hundreds of pictures before i post just one of them so remember the next time you see a good picture on instagram it takes like hours and hours of work just make it cool just make it fun and easy and make it a art and until next time see you tata bye bye